couple things that occurred in our business um, along the way. Uh, one of those things is every year I do a forecast and try to predict a little bit of the future. And always in my forecast are bad things that might happen. And uh, epidemic or pandemic has been in my forecast for a number of years. So um, even in February, uh, you know, maybe even January, um, I had a little bit of a concern uh, when we started seeing this happen in China. So um, a precursor, a preamble to the story is um, being aware of the laws of nature and knowing that human beings occasionally face this. And uh, um, so uh, that uh, enabled us to be thinking about some of our options maybe before it was crisis mode, which really helped me, I think, and some of my team members be able to react. Um, the actual sequence of events is crazy. Uh, literally, um, I got fired on a Tuesday of my consulting job by a text. And it wasn't really fired, but it was like, yeah, you're done. Uh, so I don't, I've never been fired before, so it was kind of cool to do it in a high-tech new way. Um, it would have been better by Twitter, obviously, but uh, we'll, go with, we'll go with text message. Um, so I was kind of sad that day, but then the next day we're like, okay, wake up and pick up uh, your shoes and figure out something new. Um, and uh, the pro people at Providence maybe basically came to the world and said, there is a big problem that we can't solve with our current methods. And uh, I believe that was, uh, we learned about that on March 17th, <clears throat> March, actually March 18th. I sent a text message to them literally saying, I have a factory, um, uh, I'm gonna be helping somebody in the healthcare system with my factory, and we're all in. If it isn't you guys, you better uh, tell me soon because I will find somebody else. And uh, they took me seriously, thankfully. Um, by the next morning, uh, that'll be the 19th of March, um, we were uh, designing and making prototypes. Oh, wait, I muted you. Sorry, can you unmute you? Oh. My bad, I muted Dad. Oh, she went, how far ago did you mute me? Two seconds. Okay, cool. My wife wishes she has that button. Uh, the, ver <laughs> the, the verbal processor guy. Uh, anyhow, so that 19th, which is, uh, so by the end of the day on the 19th, we released all the digital data to our friends in Holland at Design on Stock, and they were building our prototypes um, that night, so the next morning on the 20th, so now we're three days into PPE world, not even knowing what that was. Oh, by the way, I brought visual tools, so shields and masks, that's what the PPE is, at least the current version of it. Um, we, were, we were building with our friends in Holland. I got training videos on the 20th from our friends at Design and Stock, and then um, I actually think that some of the masks got into the, the, the Dutch healthcare system at about the same time, um, as uh, it did for us. So uh, that's kind of how it happened. The, the, uh, the speed was really, um, those of you who've been here before, um, you might have heard me say, hey look, we, we have a kitchen and we don't want to be baking bread ahead of time until we know what our customers want. So this idea of having a Toyota philosophy or one piece flow working to the pull is our airplane customers and furniture customers stopped pulling and Providence started pulling. So all we really did was we just pointed our, our, uh, our kitchen at cookies instead of cake. Those of you who know how hard that would be, you know, yes, it was hard, but the, the simple answer is um, our mindset and our uh, values were embodied in much of our, our uh, factory uh, and we were able to run really quick.